How's it going, guys? Back with another garage sale finds video. Uh, found this at the uh, 127 garage sales. Uh, it's an annual sale that uh, runs from Michigan to uh, Alabama. Uh, the official start date is on a Thursday, and we end up starting on a Wednesday. Went from uh, Van Wert, Ohio, down to uh, Oxford, Ohio. We stayed the night and then came back. Uh, my friend actually spotted this first uh, before I saw it, and uh, I ended up buying it. Uh, we initially uh, asked a price on this, and the guy wanted a hundred. We kind of like walked away to like think about it, and he Im immediately dropped the price to fifty. So uh, I ended up getting this bike uh, for fifty dollars. And according to the date codes, it's a uh, 1996, made in uh, December of 1996. Uh, these uh, BMX finds videos seem to be my most watched, uh, except there's a couple uh, sports cards and, and some watch videos, but uh, these tend to be uh, pretty popular on my channel uh, when I find uh, retro BMX. So this is what you'd call probably a mid-school BMX. So have a uh, GT Pro Tour Performer, and it looks to be all original. The uh, guy I bought it from said it belonged to his uh, girlfriend's son, and he looked to be in his uh, late 50s, so it kind of matches uh, how old his son would be when... Uh, or the sun would be to uh, own this. But uh, very nice condition. Looks like it was probably stored in a garage or a barn or somewhere. Not a lot of uh, pitting or rusting on the on these uh, chrome frames, which uh, can happen in the uh, Midwest. So luckily it was stored indoors. And more than likely, uh, kind of like a temperature controlled so not a lot of rusting on it, fortunately. There's some rusting on the uh, cranks, but that should be easily removed. And then the seat post is probably the worst on the rust. But it looks to be uh, all original. There's a sticker down there from a Schwinn uh, bike shop or you may have uh, purchased this or had some service done work on it. So the decals are a little rough. I'm not sure if I even bother to uh, replace, replace those decals or not, or just leave them as found. I'm not sure if these uh, came with pegs, uh, but they are missing the pegs. Another uh, area that has some rust are in front of the forks here. So I'll have to work on those, see if I can get a lot of that remo uh, rust removed. I'm not sure when I'll actually get to this to do the cleanup and uh, restoration on it. It might be a couple months down the line. I really don't like to work on these in the summer outside because of the heat. Uh, today, I think it's gonna be like 90 degrees outside, so I generally work on these outside uh, in the fall or the spring. So uh, this is uh, video number one, and I'll uh, show you guys part two. Uh, the second video will just be it all completed, cleaned up, and all the rust removed. I should be able to get like 99 plus percent of the uh, surface rust off this bike. And then I'm down in my basement, and this is my uh, Kuahara. For you guys that haven't seen that video, you can look on my previous videos. And uh, end up buying this uh, Kuahara laser light at an auction for five dollars. So the Kuahara, I think, uh, is uh, 1983, and then this is uh, 1996. 
So have an old school and now a mid school BMX. Uh, this is actually like a freestyle bike. So I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.